Hello and welcome to Forest Tech, another quick tutorial about a clever little technique called Track Mat. We will take these graphics and turn them into something like this. You could use this to make your intros, channel items, transitions and whatnot. So let's open up Premiere, a new project, I'm gonna name this Track Mat. Now if you don't have a workspace like mine or using any other workspace, you can switch by clicking on editing. Import my design files to project window. So this is Blocks Video. You can use any video of your choice, but I would strongly recommend videos with a limited color range and not too many colors like the one I have. This is my actual video on which this track mat is going to be applied. A little whoosh effect. And a bit of background music. Let's drag and drop the skiing video to the timeline. Since there's no audio in the video, so let's right click, unlink and delete the audio layer. Hit forward slash to zoom the timeline. Drag and drop your blocks video or any video of your choice that you want to use as a track mat. Similarly, I will just unlink and delete the audio since we don't need an empty layer there. Now head over to effects, search for extract. Make sure your track mat layer is selected. Double click or drag and drop the extract effect. So in this extract, you have three levels, basically a black input that is going to reduce or increase the black input levels, the white input levels, and then the softness, which is going to decide the blendness between these black and white colors. And this is going to be used as a luma mat. So I'll stick this somewhere in the middle. The black is going to be at 30, white input to 209, and softness around 60. This is something which I experimented beforehand. For your video, it could be different as well. I have to select invert. Now you can see all the colors are gone and we're down to a very common black and white range. This is exactly what Extract gives you. It takes out all the colors and bring that down between black and white. Select your video layer, go back to Effects panel and search for Track Matte Key. You can double click that, apply that effect. And here you just have to select the video layer of your track mat. In our case, that's the V2. So we'll be selecting the Video 2 layer, for select Matte Luma. Matte Alpha is for transparent videos and Matte Luma is for something where you don't have a transparent video but a black and white video. And there you can already see the effect working for us. Looks pretty good, right? Now the final touches, select the skiing footage, look for Lumetri color, double click to apply that. Or you can also go to window and look for Lumetri color to directly change the color settings. Now here, Increase up the temperature, make it a little bit more warmer. A bit of exposure there, contrast. And maybe lift up some highlights and whites in my footage. So that looks pretty decent now. Now, close the Lumetri color panel. And at this point, I would like to add a bit more touch. So I'll look for lens flare, and I'll add that to my skiing footage. You can see the sun popping out right there. And what I want to do is to center the flare at the sun. So I'll go to the start of the footage, center the flare, hit a keyframe, and go to the end of the footage, move the center of the flare to where the sun position has moved, and then go to the mid of the footage and add one more keyframe. Now since I have an outdoor footage with the skiing going on in it, and you can see the sun right there, so it just makes sense. Why not just put a lens flare there? But in your video, it, it could not be something that you require. So you don't have to follow the exact steps. You can just go on with your creativity. I'll bring my music in and my sound effects, which is that little foosh effect. And the layers will require a little bit of adjustment here. So I'll just pick these, shorten up the video layers a bit, bring them back, adjust the videos once again to my liking. Go to sequence, render selection, and quickly render our timeline. Once that is done, hit play. And there you go. There you go, an easy track mat tutorial. Let me know what you'll be using this for in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. I'll be seeing you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.